Don't get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Let's talk about this young doll situation. Um, this whole thing has been bothering my spirit, and it's almost like. You know, one of my favorite Young Doll songs is Preach. That's like one of my favorite songs. And it's so telling that, you know, in the lyrics to that song, there's a line where he's like, um, uh, niggas quick to run their mouth when they get jammed. Pussy ass nigga telling on their own fam. And so it's very interesting to see that all of this was a setup. You know, it was based on jealousy. You know, ever since Young, because it's not the first time they had attempted to kill Young Doll. You know, he had gotten shot, I believe, like in 2017. Um, his car was shot up and everything else, all because he did not want to sign to Yo Gotti's record label. And like I've always said, when you are an artist, it is stupid to sign to another artist. They're not going to have your best interest at heart, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're still in the game, it's always going to be about them. We've seen it happen with Good Music with Kanye West. Who on Good Music was actually successful? outside of Kanye. Big Sean is one of the most talented rappers out there. And I feel like he does not get his just dues. Tiana Taylor, extremely talented, but it is hard when you're signed to another artist, especially when they have ego. And so Young Dolph was smart enough to say, you know what? I respect what you guys have done in Memphis, but I wanna do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here grinding and getting it. I don't wanna sign to another nigga who signed to another nigga in the words of, um, uh, Kendrick and, and, and stuff like that. So he didn't want to do that. And it seemed like ever since then, there's been like a hit on his head. And I remember um, there was an Instagram page because see, social media solved this literally within a week. So let, I mean, I'm not saying that the detectives haven't done their job, but y'all know social media, we are sleuths. We are fake bootleg detectives. We're fake lawyers and fake psychiatrists. Uh, psychiatrists. None of us have the patience to go to school for any of these degrees, but we know how to put two and two together. And I remember there was an Instagram page and they kept deleting her. But I remember her blasting that dude, Justin, with the crooked legs. Remember he had that, he was bull-legged and bony and he had on the same outfit he had been, you know, talking, you know, popping out that whole weekend on. Everybody matched the outfit to the surveillance footage that came out in front of Makita's. So social media saw this literally within a week of the murder. We all knew who was behind it. It wasn't a surprise. And I remember him coming in the comments section talking about, oh, you hating. I don't have nothing to do with this because Justin is a rapper too. And um, he was going off and, and all this other stuff. And I'm like, bitch, you might want to simmer down because them look like your crooked ass bull legs, okay? You can say what you want to say, but the legs and the bullness in the legs don't lie, okay? And then all of a sudden he went on the run. Just, <laughs> just he disappeared. And they end up finding him another guy and more info is coming out. And it's just, it's extremely disturbing to see this. And um, I remember when Big Juke got killed, I wasn't surprised. It, a lot of people died behind Dolph. That's what people don't understand. Even though Dolph was killed, I believe back in 2021, if I'm not mistaken, um, a lot of people lost their lives after that. Remember uh, Henry Govan's daughter, what is her name? Uh, she got killed in Houston. The stud girl. Remember his daughter. Y'all can write her name. I cannot. I see her face. I can't think of her name. She ran with Uzi Vert. Remember they put up on her at the light and took her out. Then the daddy was on social media crying. Time my sins of a father. And I shouldn't even got involved in this. And they, you know, they took my daughter. You know who took your daughter and why, Mr. Govan. Okay. So the whole situation is just crazy. And now it's coming out that Big Juke, who is your Gotti's big brother, who was just killed not even maybe three, four months ago, was behind this. But it goes deeper. Lot of cash, yes, yes, lot of cash Desto. Thank you, Krista, I like champagne. Lot of cash Desto, that is her name. Yes, couldn't think of her name. But yeah, that is her name. She was killed. And I remember when she got killed, everybody was saying, 
that was a shot because Govan ran with your guardian now. That was to send a message that we're coming. If we can't get you, we're going to get those closest to you. Because they haven't been able to get Gotti. But they got Govan's daughter, Lada, Ka Lada Cash Desto, who had nothing to, you know, she's just a, a rapper. She had nothing to do with her daddy's bullshit. But that was to send a message. If we can't get you, we're going to get your, you know what I'm saying? And they took her out. And then Big Juke was so comfortable to come back to Memphis for a funeral, and they took him out at the funeral. So now all of this is coming out. Um, Justin and them all oh, telling. I said, damn, if Young Dolph's words and preach are not coming back to haunt something, I don't know what is. Because they're telling on their own fam. But this is what happens when you don't take care of people. They promised them young boys over 100 grand. One boy said he only got $800. $800? You could have made that working at McDonald's. How y'all ha have these young dudes pull a hit and then don't want to pay them? Let me, so we're going to listen to some of this audio that's come out uh, with them talking. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting. Okay, let me show y'all this loser here. They gave him 31 years as they should have. This is the PMB story I was talking about. Is this on the shade room? Yeah, let's see here. All right, so remember this man with his son? Uh, he got 31 years. That was just announced. Um, he had instructed his teenage son to go and rob PMB and they end up killing him. So he got his time. So now we're gonna go ahead, let me pull up the other story here give me just a second yeah this is insane everybody want to be gangster till it's time to be gangster so this is one of the guys cornelius smith only received 800 dollars for his involvement in the murder of young doll 800 bucks he could have made that working a nine to five So let me find the audio here. I have a lot of clips up, excuse me, while I find what I'm looking for. Okay, here goes one of the audio clips here. Let me walk over to Twitter. So this is Cornelius testifying that the day that he murdered young Dolph was his daughter's birthday. So look how demonic this is. This is your child's birthday, and instead of you being home with your child, eating cake and ice cream, Oh, just whatever the hell parents do, right? You're out here plotting a murder. You're plotting to take this man from his children. So this is, it's just sick and demonic. This is how dark this industry is. And, and I know I told her about a house, buying them a house and all that because I knew that they already had his on everybody head and we was out looking for somebody. We didn't know we were going to catch dogs. We didn't know who we were going to catch. Is that why it was a particularly big day for you? What do you mean big day? Well, if you text Miss Jackson, let's see, 9.05 a.m. on November 17th, 2021, you say good morning. I went to sleep in the midst of texting you to knowing today is my big day. My favorite birthday. My daughter's birthday. November 17th? Yeah, my daughter. You went and killed a man on your daughter's birthday? I'm trying to make, make it right for her. I ain't had no money. I'm trying to get some money that day. So I'm trying. Do y'all hear that? He, the prosecutor shocked. He said, wait, you went and killed somebody on your daughter's birthday? He said, I'm trying to make it rain from her, for her. I'm trying to get some money for her. So this is what these people in the industry are doing. They're finding people who are in poverty, who don't have it like that. And you're promising them a hundred grand to take out somebody's life. And instead of him using common sense and saying, why would I take a father from their child? It's not worth it. He's being dangled this money. Because again, everybody says money is the root of all evil, but it's not the money itself. It's what people are willing to do for the money. Sick. I'm trying to make sure my baby girl may have a, a beautiful birthday. So do whatever. Then I'm trying to get out on the field. Do whatever. 
But you're telling her you're going to buy her house, you're going to give her $10,000 for rent? I said, it right. ain't fooled. The day before. Yeah, you know, I tell female that. You know what I mean? Like, that's my baby mama. I was trying to get back with her or whatever. It ain't just like, you know, it's just gang. You know what I mean? Hey, just gang. You know what I mean? Man, I was like, Listen to how callous he's talking. The prosecution is saying, you know, you're you're texting and saying that you're going to get her a house and get her money. He said, yeah, I'm telling that to my baby mama because I'm trying to get back with her. So he's expecting this huge bag, this settlement to come in. So that way he can, you know, get his baby mama and daughter out the hood and, you know, have them looking good. But this is all based off of you killing another black man and taking another father from his children. Do y'all see how sick and demonic this is? And he's talking so callous like he had no other choice. What, what, what y'all, you, yeah, I was trying to, you know, make, make a way and, and, and get money and, and do stuff for my daughter's birthday. And that involves murder? Most parents, when they want to do stuff for their kids and they can't afford it, they, they, put, they get extra shifts at work. What happened to that? Hey, boss man, can I get, uh, you know what I'm saying? Can I come in on the weekends and work? Can I work overtime because I'm trying to do it big for my baby girl's birthday? You don't decide to pull a hit. This is, it's like people just, I, I, I don't, it's like we're living in an upside down world. It's insane. So you're just lying to her too? I ain't seen lying. I ain't gonna say that. Got him? And lying is two different things because okay. man, you know, you tell the person what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell like these kind of people. Nah, I don't know them. Okay, so now let me pull up this other clip. Give me just a second here. I got a few more clips from the trial that I want to play for y'all. Like, it's, it's really sad and sick. And this is what folks do. They will use people in poverty to do their dirt. Imagine hating somebody that bad. You're that jealous that you're willing to pay, you know what I'm saying, for their demise. It's sickening. Okay, so now this is the part where he says that he was only paid eight hundred dollars. Let me share this tab. Okay, we're gonna listen to this. Oh, hold on, it's muted. You drove with him. Stay in a hotel. Yeah, stay in a hotel. About how long were you gone? Well, I was gone a couple days. I ain't had any more money on me. Money. Run out of money, you gotta come back. Yeah, I gotta come back. And you come back, you pick up that money from the old woman? Yeah, I, I picked up the money from her. And I saw how much it was. I'm like, ah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. You could spend that on pills in one day. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I can bet it. What'd you do with the letter? I flushed down the toilet at the hotel room. All right. Is that the only time you got any money from Justin? Nah, uh, a couple of days later. Uh, I was in the city or whatever, and he was saying that uh, he was going to have his folks to pull up on me, bring me bring me some money or whatever, hold, hold me down. So I think he been pulled up about 20, 30,000 leave, you know what I mean? But uh, I had my girl to get out the cop. Yeah, I, I got scared. I, I got on them. And she met the person that was driving on the street or whatever. I had her to have her face mask on, and she said they had their face mask on. So, we don't know who it was, but they got her three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. And this is from Justin's folks. Yeah, this is from Justin's folks. All right. So now we've been paid about eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um. Uh, is there any other payment coming? Nah. All the payments stopped. Then. All the payments stopped. Yeah, payments stop. Imagine that. He was paid. 500 and then 300 totaling $800 and then the payment stopped and that was it so he didn't even get the 100,000 that he was promised all Justin could give him was $800 because I'm sure Justin didn't get the money that he was promised again playing these young boys like a freaking fiddle he was supposed to be paid 40 grand Justin was supposed to be paid 100 grand so they're I'm assuming they're supposed to be splitting it you know some type of way he only got $800 for the death of Young Dolph. That is sick. So now there's another video I want to play. Uh, this is where they talk about Big Jook. 
putting the hundred dollar hit on Dolph. Once again, Big Jook is your Gotti's big brother. November 17th, 2021. Ooh. Okay, this is Justin. That's the one with the crooked bro with the crooked bow legs I've been talking about. That's Justin. For y'all who don't know. We, we knew that, you know, they had a hit on uh, Dolph and them head or whatever, so. Who had a hit on whose head? Big Jug had, had a hit on Dolph's head or whatnot, so. How do you know that Big Jug had a hit on Dolph's head? Ah, uh, because Quit had told me about it, Quit, and, you know what I'm saying, being just. How much money was it supposed to be? 100000 on Dolph's head. And had you agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. Had Justin agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. We all gonna do it together? Yeah, they they been on it, but yeah. What was was there any arrangements as far as splitting money or anything? Yeah, uh me and him and uh we me and him supposed to be giving quit ten thousand piece. Alright, so you and him are gonna give Govan ten thousand piece? Yeah. And how much are you gonna get? I was getting forty, he was getting forty. Okay. Y'all hear Govan was all supposed to supposed to get money that that is a uh, lot of cash desco's daddy so he was also supposed to get money as well on november 17th um had you <coughs> spoken with justin about this yeah we had we had been talking about it okay this was not something that just happened this day but something that was in the process for weeks yeah, we How did y'all hook up this day, if you remember? He had pulled up to give me. He got me, got me or whatever. Where'd he get you from? He got me from my father's house. Where's your father's house? Up in Lamar Orange Mound area? He had either you called him or he called you or anything like this? He called me the first time I missed the call. Then he called me back. I answered him. He was telling me basically they were pulling up because we already knew what was going on. You already, when you say you already knew what was going on, you already knew that this was about? Yeah, because we knew they were doing the turkey drive, so we was actually on our way to Westwood. Had you and Justin talk, um, talked about this particular day before? Like, nah, not the specific day. Like, we just knew that it was turkey drag on every day that we, we okay. didn't believe. You knew that, the fair said you knew Dolph was involved in these turkey drives this week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, we didn't know we were going to catch him, but we knew he did his artist. Y'all you know, yeah, hear that? Because remember that week, um, Young Dolph does this every year in Memphis. He does a turkey drive for like needy families and stuff like that. He gives back to the community. So they're saying that they knew and they're trying to figure out, you know, when they would pull this hit. You know, would it be around the turkey drive? Were they going to be able to catch them before the turkey drive? Like, this is just sad. This is just really sad. Everybody had a hit on the heat. Everybody had a price on the heat. From Jook? Yeah, from Jook. And that was going to be y'all's business this week? Yeah, that was that meeting. When he arrived at the house, do you remember what he was driving? Oh, white Mercedes beans. Okay, had you, had you seen that car before? I ain't know so Did you get in the car with him? Yeah, I got in. Was there anybody else in the car? No, it was just me and Jesse. Uh, were there any guns in the car? Yeah, they was on a big seat in the bed. Do you remember what kind of guns they were? A Draco. Talked about this particular day. Handgun. Okay. And Draco, Memphis, some type of bigger semi-automatic. Yeah. See, there's no loyalty. There's no loyalty amongst criminals. He's telling all the business. Oh yeah, there was guns. There was Dracos and everything. Justin was with me in the car. Justin over there trying to take notes and shit. Yeah, your boy's telling it all. There's no loyalty when it comes to the streets. See, it's all fun and games on social media and trying to act hard and trying to act like y'all about that life, until you're really facing life. Then everybody wants to tell what they know. Is that right? And then a handgun. Do you remember what you were uh, wearing that? Handgun. Okay. And. Okay, I think that was. Let me see here. Yeah, that was the last video I had. Let me make sure. Uh, anything else? 
there was another video i can't find it but um, during the trial they're basically sitting there because they're saying well how how did you communicate with juke um big juke after everything went down so after they pulled the hit on young Dolph, they were sign languaging to big juke on facetime and they're like well what do you mean like sign languaging like they literally learned sign language and i don't know chad i don't know sign language i'm just about as bad as that sign language interpreter in Florida. They just be throwing up gang signs and shit during the, you know, press conferences. Either way, once they got done with the hit, they were, you know, signing Young Dolph killed. Whatever, however they did it on the FaceTime with Big Juke. Because they didn't want to type it out. So they were sign languaging, you know, maybe sign languaging dolphins and shit swimming. I don't know. But they were sending smoke signals and sign languages. I'm like, this, like, this can't be life. Y'all done took this man out and then got to doing sign languages and shit. Like, yeah, it's done. You know, um, at this point, bitch, I'm the judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> Throw all they asses in jail. We know Big Juke is dead. Bitch, go after your Gotti. Send Angela Simmons to jail, too, because she want to she wanna wear that fucking pistol packing purse. Bitch, you can go to jail with them, too. That is my order, okay? Since you think it's cute, you can go to jail with your man, okay? Um, this whole situation is just sickening. You know, like all jokes aside, it's, it's just really sad. And so everybody's like, and then you, you have like the Yo Gotti fan just because y'all like Glorilla. And I'm a fan of Glorilla, but Glorilla is signed to Yo Gotti. Um, I'm not going to be willfully ignorant enough to think that, oh, Big Juke just did this for his own, you know, benefit. And then everybody's like, well, where would Big Juke get the money? Big Juke had money. He's part of management. You know what I'm saying? He gets money. Yo Gotti's his little brother. They're from the streets. They've been getting street money. We're not going to act like this was not Big Brother looking out for Little Brother. Can we have an honest conversation? We're not going to act like he just decided to do this. He's not a rapper. He did this. He did one solid for Baby Bro. So again, explain to me why this preacher's daughter is always tied up in some fuckery with some thugs. It's very strange. And I said this years ago, of all the guys she has access to, everybody wants to big up this relationship with her and Yo Gotti. Why? I guess people just look at the money aspect of it, but he's always been a shady character. And if you really had integrity, that's not the type of person you'd be with. But see, we're not allowed to have that conversation. We're just supposed to praise the fact that he got her a Hermes bag and, you know, takes her on fancy trips. It's blood money. That's what it is. I think the whole situation is disgusting because young Dolph, because he wanted to be independent, he didn't want to sign to them. He didn't do anything to these people. He eventually, I mean, they, they had their beat. They had their diss tracks on wax, on wax you know what I'm saying? And they both dissed each other. Who's the one black black youngster? Then he got involved and was beefing with Dolph for a while and all that stuff. So it's like all of this because this man did not want to sign to your record label. That is insane. And so then you find young crash out dummies and you promise them money because again, you know, people want to perpetuate and act like they're living this lifestyle that they're not really living. And you promise these young boys riches and you know fame and fortune and they crash out only to find out that they got the short end of the stick none of these people saw that hundred grand let's start there and now these young boys are looking at more time in prison than they done lived because all these young dudes are in their 20s so it's the whole thing is just sickening it's sickening but not, but I'm not shocked because, like I said, this murder was solved on social media back in 2021, 2022. Literally a week after, like, that Instagram page. And like I said, they kept deleting her because she'd come back. They deleted her, she'd come back with more evidence that it was him. And then eventually, I remember he stopped commenting and he just went on the run like Forrest. You didn't see him for a while. And then all of a sudden, bodies started popping up. And you know what's so disturbing about this? that an innocent black woman got caught up in all this fuck shit with the industry. Remember, people were threatening Makita's cookies. They were trying to say that that lady set Dolph up. 
They were threatening them, threatening to kill them. And when you see that video, because they had the video of the shooting, they were, remember that, they were threatening Makita, the cookie lady, the black woman who Dolph, every time he went there, he would shout her out. He would let people know, you know, go support Makita's. She's in the community. His grandma loved the cookies. So he would always, you know, go back and really show her love. People started accusing that black woman of setting him up. But if you watch that surveillance video of Dolph being killed, you can see the, the cashier there. She's shook. She's like, you know, she's not believing what she's seeing outside the window. Then she runs to take cover. You know, it's just, it's sad because now when you, Makita's is gone now. It's boarded up, graffitied up. She lost her business behind a bunch of industry bullshit. They were threatening that woman and accusing her of setting it up when she had nothing to do with this. This was a bunch of industry demonic politics. So the whole thing is sad. I just, I, I, I hate that, um, that it went down the way it did. You know, like I always say, there's enough room at the table for everybody to eat. So why act like, like you can't share? Like what is wrong with just being fair? Imagine if they just decided to be fair. Okay, well, fine. You do you. I'm going to do me. His brother would still be alive. Countless people would still be alive. Dolph would still be alive. None of this was worth it at the end of the day. And everybody talking about, oh, uh, God, he's just going to let his brother take the fall because he's dead. Well, not if they decide to do a Rico. Because if they can pull enough strings and turn this into some type of Rico, it can pull Gotti in as well. Because I, I just don't believe that the big brother just decided to do all of this for his own benefit. Who, who would really benefit? Half y'all don't even know who Big Juke is. It would benefit your Gotti. It would benefit their label. So the whole thing is sickening. Yeah, I think she ended up reopening um, in another location. Yeah, she did reopen, but I'm talking about the original location that everybody knew her for. She had to get up out of there because of the death threats. And she just reopened. It took her a while to, you know, find a new building and, and you know what I mean? And then even then, still having to worry about your safety. So it's just really sad. It's really, really sad. That whole situation caused the murder rate in Memphis to go up like crazy. People are losing their life left and right in Memphis for years behind this whole situation. And, you know, I just find it very disturbing that these young men, you know, were played in a way. They were promised riches that he decided on his daughter's birthday, he had no qualms about taking somebody's life only to only be given $800. You could have made that in overtime and be out here free to be a father to your child. So it's disgusting. It's really disgusting all this stuff that's going on. This, this industry is just showing you how dark it is and how, how real it gets. And think about it, this can happen in this day and age. You know, we have better surveillance systems and stuff like that. You can't tell me all this shit wasn't going down in the 90s. Pac, Biggie, you know, the rabbit hole goes deep with all of these people. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.